And the death toll and the number of confirmed coronavirus cases in China continues to rise by the day. For the latest, we connect to our uh, Kim Jae-hee, who's standing by for us on the line. Jae-hee, uh, please fill us in. China's National Health Commission said on Friday the number of deaths in China has now reached 213, and around 9,700 cases have been confirmed in the country. That's nearly 2,000 new confirmed cases and 43 more deaths compared to the previous day. Out of the total deaths, 204 deaths came from the Hubei province and 159 were from Wuhan. The rise in the number of cases comes after the World Health Organization declared the coronavirus outbreak a public health emergency of international concern. The director general for the WHO said on Thursday during a news conference in Geneva that the main reason for the declaration is not because of what is happening in China, but because of what is happening in other countries. I'm declaring a public health emergency of international concern over the global outbreak of novel coronavirus. Our greatest concern is the potential for the virus to spread to countries with weaker health systems and which are ill-prepared to deal with it. He also stressed that the WHO continues to have confidence in China's capacity to control the outbreak and that there is no need at this time for measures that interfere with travel and trade. The WHO declares international health emergencies for only extraordinary events that cause health risks to other countries through international spread and potentially require a coordinated international response. The declaration alerts WHO member countries to step up precautionary measures, such as screening travelers and monitoring international trade. This is the sixth time such an emergency has been declared by the WHO. And Jehi, more confirmed cases are being reported from people who have never been to Wuhan. Tell us more about the situation in countries other than China. Right. More person-to-person -person spread is being reported in countries all over the world. The U.S. confirmed on Thursday its first incident of human-to-human -human transmission. The infected man in his 60s from Chicago is the husband of a woman who had previously traveled to China and was confirmed as having the virus. This brings the total number of infected U.S. patients to six. France also reported its sixth case on Thursday. France was the first country in Europe to have confirmed a coronavirus case. That is all I have at this hour, but I will be back with more updates in our later newscast. Back to you, Mark.